everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel today i have a very special announcement as well as an update on post-grad life i have now graduated from ucla i graduated winter quarter so i graduated a little, little earlier than than most of my peers um but i I will be returning to UCLA for commencement. I'm also speaking at a conference this week within the history department. So I will be returning to LA a couple different times, but I have taken a job back in the Bay Area, back where I grew up. Um, and I will be here for six months because I will be starting grad school in the fall at Oxford. Um, I got it, I was accepted into the University of Oxford for a master's in US history. Uh, I have already heard from um, Oxford as to who my advisor will be, um, but I'm not going to share that information just as a matter of privacy. I do not know which college I'm going to be, um, which residential college I will be accepted into. I should hear at the end of this month, in which case um, I do plan on vlogging through graduate school and through my JD PhD, so you will be updated um, as things come along. Um, I'm still waiting to hear on scholarships and my college um, assignment and I'm basically just going through the process right now of working, saving up money, and then just preparing to move to England in the fall. Uh, term does not start until October, but I do plan on trying to be there for orientation, which I believe should happen at the end of September, but they haven't really updated the calendar, so I'm just waiting to hear before I book any of my flights or anything. Um, I was hoping to do a little bit of travel before, but I think because of the short time span that I have and the limited amount of hours that I'm allowed to put in at my current job, that I will likely just go straight to England and then hope to do some travel afterward before law school. Um, so now I guess that begs the question now that I've mentioned law school, what the plan is after Oxford. I have, I'm always somebody that plans ahead. I when I decided to go to community college and I decided that I wanted to transfer, the idea was always that I wanted to go to law school. Um, I started after high school as a professional equestrian. I did that for three years full time and then I had decided that I really wanted to go to law school and so that meant that I needed to complete my community college credits, transfer, and then apply to law school. So now that I have finished the first chunk of that, I finished community college and I have finished my undergraduate degree. Um, now it's time to kind of figure out how to, how the, now it's time to figure out how it is I'm going to be getting to law school. So right now I'm currently studying for the LSAT and for the GRE. I did not need to take the GRE in order to get into graduate school at Oxford. So I will need to take that in order to apply for a PhD. I plan to apply for JD programs and PhD programs at the same time because I'd like to do a joint program. It usually works out that you can get into one or the other and then add the other later if you can get into that program, but ideally they'd like you to get into both at the same time. Uh, typically you'll do your 1L first, so your first year of law school, and then you'll start to kind of combine credits. Um, I know some schools will make you do a year at the law school and then they'll make you do the first year of the PhD program and then you can get to, then you'll begin to kind of combine credits. Other schools make you do more course credit at the law school and then kind of follow it up with more PhD work, but it really just depends on the program. I've done a bunch of research and I have like so many lists and Excel sheets on kind of the different pathways to take. Um, I know that ultimately I want to go into legal legal history and legal scholarship, um, though I do still want to practice civil rights law. So how I'm going to get there is kind of just dependent on where I get in and kind of how things unfold over the next several years. But for all intents and purposes, my plan currently is that I will be doing my year at Oxford. It is a nine month degree and then I will be going immediately to law school. I have a list of schools that I'm going to be applying to, but I'm not going to release that until I have decisions. Um, but I will be kind of having you guys follow me along with the application process as well as um, I'm making a video on studying for the LSAT and kind of the process of studying for the LSAT. I've watched several other like 
law related youtubers or vloggers and they typically just discuss the LSAT after the fact so I'm gonna try to film along as I study so you can kind of see the process that I'm going through so that hopefully it'll help any of you that want to go to law school um I started this channel with the purpose of having something to document my time throughout my educational experience. Um, I plan on being in school for quite some time because I plan to do the JD PhD and there are many reasons for that, mostly being that I would eventually like to get a professorship within a law school teaching the legal history of race and gender. Um, a lot of my research as a historian has been the social and legal histories of enslaved women. Um, so I would like to continue that through scholarship as well as through teaching practices and conferences and those kinds of things where I can present my research. Uh, ultimately having kind of a joint professorship within the law school of a, of a university but also crossing through the history department would be the ideal but we'll kind of see where things end up. Of course like as everybody says it's very difficult to plan your life ahead of too far ahead of time um so when i plan things when i make my like five-year plans and short-term plans and whatnot it's really just kind of setting a roadmap to look forward to not necessarily that it has to be that i believe that setting goals is important to staying focused and staying mindful about your work and also just kind of maintaining your ambitious like momentum i suppose um, I'm somebody that always has planned ahead and has always had both short-term and long-term goals. And yes, those have changed over time, but ultimately um, it kind of helps navigate my path and helps me focus. So that's what's worked for me, but I am very excited. Um, I am working, so I'm doing, uh, so as of right now, I am currently studying for the LSAT, taking the GRE. I have a job. Um, I'm a regulatory affairs associate at a medical device consulting firm. It's focusing a lot on, I do a lot of research and trying to look at the like FDA statutes for medical devices and those mm -hmm. kinds of things. It's not necessarily the area of law that I want to go into. It does give me good experience performing research in an area that is not necessarily familiar to me and I am really enjoying my job. Um, I get to work with a really great team and I'm learning a lot so the next six months should be very productive. Um, I'm also trying to get a jump start on my law school and PhD admissions applications um, as well as start to work on some of the research that I plan to do at Oxford. My research project as of right now focuses on the legal histories of enslaved women in the British Atlantic. Um, but of course when you, as most graduate programs go, you go in with a certain idea of how your research is going to end up and it ends up taking an entirely different, it, you end up taking it in an entirely different direction. That's what happened with my thesis in undergrad and I do expect that that's probably going to happen in graduate school. Um, so I'm basically just laying the groundwork for things that I can build on at graduate, in graduate school even if I don't end up exactly performing the type of research that I've gone in with. Um, I had a pretty specific statement of purpose or statement of intended research which I submitted when I got into Oxford. Um, but again, as everybody has told me with graduate school, it often changes. So I'm basically just going to be doing some of the secondary readings, trying to look up some primary sources and just kind of get an idea of where I want to go with it. And then hopefully my supervisor will help me navigate. Um, navigate that. I just noticed that my hands are moving a lot in this video. I just tend to talk with my hands so I'm sorry if it's been distracting. Um, if there's any videos that you want to see I have an LSAT prep video planned. I am going to do a video on attending UCLA as a transfer student and basically my overall UCLA experience. Um, if there's any other types of videos that you want to see I do also plan on doing a like planner um, review because I have used many different types of planners and have decided that it would be useful information for viewers like me that are super, like try to be very organized and kind of live based on a planner. Um, um, 
If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to follow along as I journey to Oxford and later to law school, please hit the subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up. It really helps a lot. And then also leave me a comment if there's any types of videos that you'd like to see um, and any questions that you may have. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.